welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so if you're new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever i push up a new video so students today i'm going to show you a trick with which you will be able to find square of any number up to 100 in matter of five seconds yes you read it right. I am going to show you a trick with which you will be absolutely able to find squares in matter of 5 seconds. And trust me student, there is one trick where you will be able to find the squares in matter of within 5 seconds. Isn't that brilliant? So, let's go ahead and watch it. Okay. Now, first let's take any number. Um, let's take 72. And you were supposed to find the square of the number 72. So first things first, what you do is you write the square of 7 over your 49. Okay. Then the square of 2 is 4. But for this trick, you have to remember one thing. That the last digit square, even if it is just a single number in the case of 2 and 3, you will still write it in terms of two digits. So you will write it as 0, 4. Okay, then what you do is you do the multiplication of all of these digits which are available in your question. So 7 into 2 is 14, 14 into 2 is getting you 28. So what you do is you do the addition. Now while adding you will add from your right to left but you will leave first digit. So you will add 28 like this means you will add 28 to 490 not to 4904 okay this is two the two things are very very important first thing if in place of the units you have two so here we know that unit place of two the square of two is four but you will write it in two digit form so it will be zero four so here had you been getting three you will write it as zero nine but if you had 4, you would have directly written as 16. There you don't need to put 0, 1, 6. Okay. So the only thing you need to remember is that the last digit square has to be in 2 digit form. Okay. Now, what you do is you do the addition. So 4, 0 plus 8 is 8. 9 plus 2 is again 11. 1 carry. And 5, 1, 8, 4. And that, students, my dear friends, is your answer. Okay, isn't that cool? Now let's see how you will be able to find the square of number 23. Okay, so again 4, uh, sorry, the square of the first digit is 4, we will write it that as it is. Then the square of the last digit is 9, but like I told you, you will write it in 2 digit form. So you will write it as 0, 9. Then what do we do? We multiply all the digits available in your question. So 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 2 again gets you 12. But you will add it to this. But you will just leave the last digit as it is. So 1 and 2 will become directly below 40. So 9 will come as it is. 0 plus 2 is 2. And 5 plus, sorry, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, your answer is 529. If you have any doubts, then please pick up your calcies and you can check your answers. Now, let's see what happens when you take a number, let's say, 84. If you had to take the square of 84, what do you do? 8 square is 64 and 4 square is 16, which is in two-digit form. So, we are going to write it as it is. 4 into, now we do what? You have to add some things, right? So, you will add the multi product of all these numbers. So, 4 into 2 is, sorry, 8 into uh, 4 gets you 32. 32 into 2 gets you 64. So, 64 will be added over here. So, here your 6 will come as it is. 4 plus 1 gets you 5. 6 plus 4 gets you 10. 1 gets added to 6. So, you get 7. So, that is my answer. Understood? I think so far this is one of the most easiest way of remembering tricks. Okay. Now I will show you a trick with which in fact students in this video I am going to show you three tricks. Okay. Actually I forgot I should have said it in the beginning but yes in this video I am going to show you three tricks. Okay. This trick 
is fair enough and the next square we are going to use this trick and with that i am going to show you the second trick as well and then it is up to you which trick you want to use okay so now let's find square of 99 okay so the square of 99 we know is 9 square is 81 again 9 square we get 81 then you multiply all these two, three numbers so 81 into 2 gets you 162 so when you add this 1 10 8 9 so your answer is 9801 now students I'm going to show you an another trick with which you will be able to find this particular answer in matter of seconds. It's not even in five seconds under that. Okay. Students, if you're liking the way I'm explaining, then please hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Another thing, students, when you hit a like button, the YouTube algorithm understands that these kind of videos will be helpful for anybody who is looking for tricks in mathematics. So in a way, you're helping others as well. Okay, so that's pretty cool, I think, right? So now I'm going to show you the next trick. Here, what do we do is we have to find 99 square, okay? So we can say that 100 minus 99 is equals to 1. Basically, this trick, students, is for, P, is for numbers which are closer to 100, okay? So 100 minus 99 is 1, okay? So what do you do is... So, here you will divide your answer. In the last digit, you will take the square of the difference. The square of the difference over here is 1. So, 1 square is again 1. But like I said, we will write it in two-digit form. So, this will be 0, 1. Okay. And this number will be nothing but your question that is 99 minus the difference that is 1. So, 98. Got it? You saw how quickly we got the answer of 99 square. I think that answer we found it even faster than this method. That is why I thought I should explain this kind of trick as well. But this is totally up to you. If you don't feel like remembering too many tricks, you can stick to this trick because this is universal. Okay? Now, let me show you another example of a number which is closer to 100 and we'll use this particular trick. So, let's see what should be the square of 96 so we know 100 minus 96 gets us how much 4 so here your answer again will be divided into two forms so the last digit will be square of 4 that is 16 and since it is two digit answer we are going to keep it as it is here i will do 96 minus 4 gets you 92 isn't that cool so your answer i can say it is 9216 i'm sure this trick must have been really really helpful for anyone who is appearing for all these entrances okay now if you want let's try another uh, um, example so we do 92 the whole square so 100 minus 92 gets you 8 so here again my last two digit will be 64 and what do you do is you subtract 92, rather you subtract 8 from 92. So what you get is 84. Isn't that cool? I'm sure it is. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the last trick with which you will be able to find the squares of any number in 2 seconds. Trust me. Okay. So here the only thing is this trick is applicable for any number who has the units place as 5 okay so if you want to try and find out the square of number 25 so what do you do it's damn simple i'm telling you so you just have to write down the square of 5 is 25 as your last two digits and for the first digit what you do is you multiply 2 with the next number so what is the number after 2 is 3 so 2 into 3 gets you 6 that's your answer if you want, we can try and find out the answer of 45 square. That is 25, 4 into 5 gets you 20. Now, let's try and find out square of 75. So, that is again 25. 7 into 8 gets you 56. 
again let's try and find out square of 95 so that is again 25 and 9 into 10 gets you 90 i'm sure all these tricks must be really really helpful for anyone who's practicing for all these entrances such as CAG, SAG, GMAT, CET, UPSC, all of that, okay? And students, if you have any particular doubt in any of the other topics or if you want me to create tricks for any particular topic of mathematics, then please go ahead and put it in the comment section. I will try to make the video on that as soon as possible, okay? And now, like always, I'm going to mention a question. The answer of that, you will put it in your comment section. So please tell me what should be the square of number 49, okay? Please go ahead and put the answers in your comment section. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.